Welcome back my people to yet another episode of your number one delicacy hub food clinic where you get to learn how to prepare different kinds of delicious meals for yourself, your family members and your loved ones. I remain your host on today's episode and I'll be teaching you guys today how to make pasta with palm oil sauce. This is just my own formulated recipe but it was something I tried and I really fell in love with it. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make my palm oil sauce with your pasta or you can use it for your white yam, you can use it for your white rice as well. So guys don't go anywhere, I'll be with you guys shortly after the break. See you soon. Welcome back my people and now let me introduce to you guys the ingredients we're going to use for making our palm oil sauce. Over here I have my chopped tomatoes, I have my chopped red onions, I have my pasta, smoked titus fish, locust bean also known as iru, I have my pumpkin leaves also known as ugu, boiled eggs, palm oil, salt and seasoning cubes to taste, I have my blended pepper and I have my grinded crayfish over here. So these are the ingredients I'm going to be using to make this palm oil sauce and pasta today. As you all know, my meals is juicy, but my gist is juicier. So I'll be having a guest, a friend of mine, this lady, she's a wonderful business woman. She's also a beautiful entrepreneur and she goes by the name Faith Asongo. So she's going to be joining us on today's episode to give us hot gist, like as a day hot. So go nowhere. We'll be with you shortly after the break. Thank you. That's yummy. Welcome back, people, and thank you so much, Faith, for joining us on another episode of Food Clinic. Thank you very much. All right. So today, can you look at the ingredients we have on the table? Yes. So what do you think we're making? Spark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's um, white spark or I mean, I don't jell know. Jell-off? Yes. I but what if you're, you're thinking it's not jell because of the palm oil and all these other things you see, right? Yes. Okay. Because I've never seen... This kind yes, of ingredients yes, being yes, used yes, for spaghetti. Yes, yes. okay. Especially out of the palm oil. Yes. Yeah, so I don't oh, know. Okay. All right. So today... I told them earlier on, this is just my own. I tried it once. I happened to do this by I had I did it by accident, okay. but it was so nice. Like it came out okay. so well. So I tried, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make white pasta with palm oil sauce. It's super nice, it's really nice. And this sauce, you can also use it to eat like your rice, your yam, is you know multi pop, it's multifunctional. Okay. That's just the way I want to call it. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna get our water into our pot. We're going to start cooking. Once it boils, we get this done while we are also making our sauce. This goes in here. So I'm going to let this boil. Then I'm going to add our pasta. Okay. So while it's cooking, we're going to get other things done. So we're lighting this one up too. Okay. And then we're going to go into our palm oil, bleach it, and just start cooking. I'm super excited, honestly. I want you have, you. have you tried this sauce before? I've never tried it. Before. I want you to try it. I really want you to try it. I, mean, I would love to try it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. All right. So you can give them a review. So I was going to ask you are you a fan of big family or small family? Like two kids? Like what's the maximum number of kids you plan on having in the future? Four. Four? Yes. That's much. <laughs> but no. <laughs> For me, for me, I'm thinking that's okay for you, but for me, I feel like that's much. Why four? Four is okay for me. If okay. I can have like, let's say, two boys and two girls. Perfect. Say, even if it's not like that, even if it's three girls and one a boy, boy, okay, it's fine. All right. Three boys and a girl. Okay. It's still okay, anyone. All right, but four but, kids. Yes. At most. Yes. Uh, that's nice. The point that I don't, I don't know why I'm um, like. I don't know if I was I have a phobia. <laughs> I have a phobia for lots of kids. But the funny thing is that I grew up with five other siblings. Like my mom gave us half a like we're half a dozen. Mom gave us like, you know, we had 
we were our own playmates we were everything to each other and i loved it like i love the bond i and my siblings grew up with but me personally i just want to have two kids a boy and a girl or a boy or two boys or two girls but whichever it is sha just two is okay for me okay so. what number are you in your family i'm the fifth really <laughs> yes i'm the fifth i'm the okay. fifth one i want to do something can i see your palm oh okay does, when, does... i don't know if you remember <laughs> olden days mm -hmm. they would be like ah to check yes, the sex of yes, the yes. person i'm older than <laughs> does it work i don't know okay sure but I think I, I did that when I was in primary school and then it was like they said I have a Y, this is like a Y, so it y. means a boy. But my mom had a miscarriage after me oh. before she now gave birth to my little sister and oh. I adore that little girl so so much. She's like my sweetheart. So I'm happy that you know she's still the person that you know my mom added to the family. She's such a beautiful girl. So that about that, I was gonna ask you, yeah, there's this thing. It's just, it's just been this. I've been seen on social media a lot. Like when I go on social media, and it always breaks my heart. It really it shatters my heart. Like I see news of a 70-year-old man defiled a three-year-old girl. A six-something years old man defiled this. Um fathers, like a late um a lady they had to rescue at some point. She got she in fact she has two kids and they are her father's children, you know, like that's his biological daughter, like how how do this mean like what do you think is the perfect punishment for pedophiles That's yummy. please help me with my palm oil our pan is ready yes please our pan is ready thank you wow. so i'm going in with this palm oil isn't that too much no it's not darling because we're going to be frying this we're going to let these tomatoes dry Yes, I think it's really perfect. So while it's been it's heating, I want it to bleach. I'm gonna reduce the heat because I feel like it's a bit much. As you can see, it's already smoky. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna reduce the heat. So this is perfect for me. This is perfect. I want it to cook slow as slow as possible. Alright, so please your thoughts. Okay, where was I? Um, yeah, I said I, I you didn't start. I said you should hold the thought. Um, so that um, you can tell me your opinion on punishment for a pedophile okay. and what you think mothers or parents because that are more to raise their child differently not to experience such okay 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 so while you're gisting me let me be throwing in my onion i'm listening okay. pardon me viewers please okay. i don't know to me okay two things okay it's either me as the wife has been denying him like his um Oh, what did they okay, call sorry. sorry. If that was your child, yes. If okay, let me say, God forbid, yes. yes. Your husband pregnant your child oh, or yes. is sleeping with your child. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Yes. So, uh, to me, I would think maybe I've been denying him sex or something. Okay. And um, secondly, I would feel maybe I have not been a good mother. Like, I have not, like dedicated time and attention to my child you understand because if if i was this close to her mm -hmm. or if i've been giving her this attention okay the first time it started she would have told me okay to get yes but because i was not close to her maybe um business and other things you understand okay so she feel her mommy is too busy okay and i can't tell her or maybe she might be like um i don't want to break their marriage all right she gets all right. so to me i would just this I would, these are the two things that i would think in my head first you okay get. hold that thought so I'm, I'm i'm sauteing our onion so i'm it has released its flavor i'm going in with our tomato so that it can dry i don't want it soggy but but why is your first like why was it your first instinct to start to blame yourself i just gave you i, I told you like a grown adult responsible for his actions 
did something wrong and you are already like trying to like apportion blames you so like why do you I, I feel like it has to be it has, it has to do it the way we women are being raised if a man cheats maybe she's not sleeping with him enough maybe she's not okay let's say he cheated outside that's fine but your daughter yeah. nothing justifies even if you're not even if you're the most busy woman on earth and you're not fulfilling your duties as a wife on bed go out but not your daughter your blood your own flesh and blood that is that is it is disgusting and it's disturbing okay you know what maybe okay. you try to question him you get okay. and then you'll be like it's the devil's thing but i feel like you're making excuses for the man in I'm question not making because any you're sounding for him. you're sounding you're sounding so you're sounding so okay so if he tells you that it was the devil's if it was the devil's um the devil that made him do it so what are you going to do? So the devil made it okay. So the devil and my daughter, I'm sorry, the devil made him do it. Like, so what? I want to know, like, what action, like, what line of action are you going to take to tackle that issue? <laughs> like, to be honest, nobody is praying for anything bad. You get. Of course, we're just yes, this. This is a made-up scenario. Bad, but, but this is also people's if, if um, reality. If it happens, okay. if it happens, right. I will just, I might just leave the house for him. Okay. And my, me and my kid. Okay. I'll just leave the house for him. Is either I leave or he leaves the house for us. Okay. You get right. because I don't have the strength to take um, the 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 issue too serious. I know it's going to hurt my daughter. Even in the past, you get. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, in the future, okay. it's going to hurt her. All right. So I don't know. I I, I sorry, darling. I, I I I don't know what to do. You don't I will know. just leave. You get. Okay. Because I'm this kind of person, like. You, you, I, you don't I'm subscribe to violence? No. Okay. That's yummy. So right now, our water is ready. I can see the steam coming up from the pot. So I'm going to be training our pasta to let it cook. But before that, please, can you help me with my, so my seasoning plate? My plate that has the seasoning, yes, please. So I'm going to just train a bit of salt in there. Yes, please. So, I'm going to use that. Then, I'm going in with this. Alright, so our pasta is in here and we're going to let it cook while my sauce is getting ready. Okay. Yes, please. My baby is getting ready. The aroma. <laughs> yes. Serious. Okay, so we're going to be throwing in the iru, the low-cost bean. So that you know we can get its own flavor inside our meal. Please, I also want to contribute at least. Okay, so watch what my teacher was <laughs> banned. You You're not serious, I swear to God. Let me just do one thing, even if it's to add salt. To All right, okay. I'm going salt. to let, let you salt, I'm going to let salt. you handle from this point. <laughs> I'm going to let you handle from this point. If that's okay with you. No way, of course you can cook. No way. You wouldn't do that. Alright. Thank you. Please help me lastly. Please help me with my seasoning cubes, please. So let me let you take control from here. From this point on out. Alright. Yeah, What's that? Pepe. Pepe. I don't think so. All right, that's okay. okay. You can. You have the. I was just joking. Don't disgrace me. <laughs> you have the floor. <laughs> All right. You don't oh. want, you wouldn't want to disgrace me. <laughs> okay. You can't be serious. Of course, you know how to prepare a meal now. I don't know how to cook. If I yeah, you know how to cook, Joe. Stop disguising. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to ask you, yeah, what's your take? Healthy relationship or toxic relationship? Healthy. Healthy no relationship. Toxic relationship. Is that what you think? You will be so shocked if I should tell you things I've heard or things people have walked up to me to tell me. You will be shocked. People don't even like, they feel like um, healthy relationships are boring. Some people like the vast boss, you know, I'm giving you as I might, as 
tempo is high, you're also giving to me, you understand? Please help me with my um, pepper. I think that's time, it's time we put in that. Please, thank you so much, this one please. So, we're going with this. I think I've, I've, I don't know, I don't know how to And I've our crayfish. Had, uh, toxic well, I don't know our crayfish. Okay, the last time I checked, I think I've never been in a toxic Oh, good for you, yes. good for you. Please help me, thank you. That's good for you then. That's yeah, good. I don't think I have. I can't remember the word. Oh, okay. I think I have not. Oh, but I'm just trying to let you know that it's an actual thing that people love toxic relationship. No jokes about that. Like people get bored being in a healthy relationship. They feel like you know everything is going so well. I'm adding my onion again because of I want I still want that fresh onion flavor. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so that's how I love to make my meal. And this sauce doesn't even take time. And lastly, we're going our smoked Titus fish. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so I was going to ask you again. I hope you don't mind all these no, questions. I just have one thing to say, but... Okay, I'm listening. Yes. No, go. Tell me. Okay, like when you were talking about um, the... What did you even call it again? Um, Pedophile. Molesting, yes. Stuff like that okay okay there's this friend of mine okay that told me something right. that she was staying with her aunt and um i mean the aunt is married okay a kid okay. so they live together so her husband that's her auntie's husband okay he's, he will always sneak to her room at night like to have his way with the girl but did she, she never let her auntie know? No, she okay. didn't. So this this the whole thing kept on going on and on and on like yes, that. Yes, please. She, the whole thing kept on going on and on and on. Yeah. So she had a friend that she could confide, confide in. in, yes. And she did. Okay. So the the whole thing was just too much for her that she couldn't. To handle, to yes. yes. So she had to like leave the house. Okay. So when she left the house, like she was really, really helpful to and you get I put in my last badge of onion to give it that flavor we are almost done please my eggs please the eggs are already boiled so they are coming in last and lastly my pumpkin leaves just hold that for me let me give this a good stir we are done cooking and I can't wait to try my meal <laughs> I came, yes, I yes. I came with my cutleries today. Okay, you came prepared. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, so as I was saying, before, so this is our pumpkin leaves, otherwise known as ugu. Okay. We've put that in. So I'm just gonna let it give it the last stir. Okay. So I'm listening, darling. Okay, so as I was saying before, so she, when she left the house, so people that saw, um, People that knew her aunt were like, where is your sister? Okay. Your mom is her. The ladies, the yes, little girls staying with yes, you. Yes, So she she was like, ah, she got pregnant and she left. Oh house. my God. Like, she was saying horrible things about, about the, girl. the little like, girl. Yes, like oh. she did this, she stole from her, she did uh -uh. that. That's the reason why she That's left. That's so terrible. So, yes. So at the point, at some point, the her friend, I mean the little girl's friend, okay, got, get got to hear about um, the whole thing, and she was like, she went to tell her own aunt, her own sister that okay, that's a like, lie. Yes, I don't like the way um, uh, her auntie is going about this. Okay, this, my, as in the the little girl's auntie is going about All right. this, the things she's telling people. She don't like it. Okay. That she wants to tell her the truth. This was what happened. That okay. was the reason why she left the house. All right. She, the sister was like, are you being serious right now? She said, yes. I'm tired of hearing all these things about... Um, the lies that they spread. Yes, you get so... She... Please hold that thought. Our sauce is ready. Okay. So I'm going to be turning that off. All right, please. Okay, okay. okay. So um, she said, okay, she not told that that, that that was the reason why she left the house. Okay. So the sister now called little girl and she, she was asking, she asked, is it true? So uh, my sister told me this is what happened. Yes. 
no it's not true so she tried she tried to like cover up yes, for her auntie yes. but later on she opened up to her like yes okay. this that was what happened that was the reason why i left i was just trying to save face yes 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 so luckily her aunt was there when she called the little girl okay so this is that was ah uh, no 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 I, I trust my husband my husband cannot do this my husband cannot sorry do that. was the little was the auntie aware that the husband was molesting the little girl no okay so she the little girl never told her auntie mm -hmm. okay right. so she she just left okay because without... even though she told her auntie she, she doesn't never know believe. okay yes so that was what happened so the little girl left. I mean, I mean, uh, she, her aunt left. She confronted her husband. Her husband was left with no option now to admit to it. I the guess. truth. Oh. Okay. So what did the auntie do? Okay. So I have not heard from my friend. You understand? I've yeah. not heard from her for quite a long time. So I don't okay. know. Maybe her aunt is still together with oh, the husband. Okay. But I don't know. But you see, such kind of things. I don't know how the what the I don't know what they see. Which? I don't know the face. I don't know. Because have you seen why I said that castration is the suitable punishment, most suitable for pedophiles? Because I don't, I can't wrap my head around what you see in a little girl's body or a little boy's body. Because over years now, people are coming out, people are opening up that it's not only the girl child that is being molested, the boy child, the boy child um, is also being molested. molested so yes. I'm just gonna appeal to all parents out there, please. It doesn't matter the money you're running after, even if you're trying to make that money for the kids. But please look after your kids. You take care of them. Let them create a safe zone or a safe a safe space where whereby they can come to you and open up to you about certain things. And please, when they do, when they do, please protect them. Take necessary actions. Guide them. Don't don't start um. Don't, don't, don't ruin that boy or girl's life because of you want to stay married, because you want a safe face, because you're trying to save the reputation of your family. Thank you so much. So with that, we've come to the end of this section. As you guys can see, my sauce is ready and my pasta is also ready. So we're going to be going to the other segment, the Orishi Rishi segment. We are going to be tasting our meal and our guest, our delectable guest here, will be tasting our palm oil sauce with pasta. And she's going to be giving you guys her honest review on what she thinks of our pasta. Are you ready? My plate is ready. <laughs> okay, nice one. So we're going to be moving over to the next section. We'll be with you guys shortly after the break. Thank you. Welcome back my people and now to our moment of truth. Our beautiful guest right here, Miss Faith, is going to be testing this beautiful combination of pasta and palm oil sauce. And she's going to let us know what she thinks about this meal. And if she's going to be trying it on her own sometime soon. Sure. Okay. So let's let her dig in and let's hear her review. Before that, this drink is actually... Mm. Mm. Yes, please, let's dig in. Actually, pasta is one of like my favorite foods. I love pasta a lot. I, I, I love pasta too, but I don't like pasta with sauce. Mm. Maybe I have to try. I have to try this on my own. You have to. Mm -mm. I'm just. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let you try it first and tell me what you think. Mm -mm. Damn. So actually, I don't think people have tried using palm oil for their pasta. Like I know they've tried there's native rice, but I don't think people have actually tried that combo for pasta. I've never tried that before. I'm just testing this for the first time. How does it taste? Please don't finish our food before giving us the review. We're waiting for that review. You take away if possible. Ah, you've not given us review and you won't take away. You're not serious. This so, what do you think? This is yummy. Mm -hmm. This is so good. No, like seriously, it's very tasty. Yeah. I think I'm going to try this on my own. Yeah. Okay. Because it looks lovely. It's, it's, it's. In fact, I like it. Okay. Okay. I'm to rate. 
from one to ten. Okay. I'll give you a ten. A ten. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate your review. So we're gonna let you enjoy your meal. Please do. And over to you, my people. You guys have heard. So this recipe is something you want to try. Not every day tomato on your pasta using tomato sauce or, you know, Alfredo sauce. This palm oil sauce is something you should give a try for yourself, your family members, and your loved ones. So if you're still watching up until now, do not forget to follow us on all of our social media handles displaying right now on the screen. Please don't forget. And also, you can leave a comment or if you have a question, just leave it in the comment section and I'm going to reply to you as soon as I get it. And I'll be seeing you guys next week, same place, same time, on another episode of your number one food delicacy hub, Food Clinic. See you guys till next time. Bye.